There was coal mining near Cotgrave since the 19th century, but when the most recent and modern Cotgrave colliery was opened in the 1960s, the population of Cotgrave swelled from around 700 to nearly 7,000. By the time the first sod was turned, a huge new housing estate was built to accommodate the workers and their families, including a new shopping precinct, a pub, the Diamond, and the miners' welfare. Way past the days of pickaxes, davy lamps and pit ponies, the miners constituted a modern, professional, efficient and experienced workforce. They were drawn from all over the country, many from the northeast, where several mines had recently closed. For decades these families formed the heart of the town, and long after the closure of the mine in the 1980s, northeast accents are prevalent. The colliery itself was a new and efficient mine using keep winching gear rather than the traditional winding wheels. These distinctive keep towers were visible for miles and became a familiar and iconic feature of the Cotgrave colliery. During its heyday the mine had its own rail system and links to the main national railway. It produced copious amounts of coal which fired the enormous boilers at ratcliffe on saw power station supplying a large part of the East Midlands with power. The excavations radiated for many miles from the central shaft. The importance of the colliery to the East Midlands, and especially to Cotgrave itself, cannot be overstated. With the demolition of the iconic towers and the clearing of the site, much of the surrounding area was given over to create Cotgrave Country Park. Stretching over several acres, the park is still growing in maturity and has become a favourite recreational destination for nature lovers, walkers, families both local and further afield. Its popularity continues to grow. With the building of the new Hollygate housing estate, all remaining visual evidence of the capped pit head has been obliterated. Initially the builders were canvassed for street names to commemorate the colliery but that was never taken up. In February 2014 the group Friends of Cotgrave Country Park formed a small subcommittee to explore the possibility of a feature to remember the colliery and celebrate Cotgrave's important industrial heritage. It was, and is, important that the pit and its workers should not be entirely forgotten. An area of the country park was set aside and the group began planning. Several ideas were tabled, including a scale tableau of the iconic keep towers positioned to appear as the real ones would have looked during the three decades they stood. It was later thought, however, this would not be acceptable as it might prove hazardous. It was hoped other artefacts of the colliery, including steel rails and an original NCB gate, could also be included. That an enclosed area might be reclaimed, a garden formed, trees planted and benches surrounding. Again, the group was advised these eyes might be rejected as too ambitious, time-consuming and difficult to maintain. The group now feel a simple, lasting and effective, maintainable way to bring attention to the previous existence of the colliery would be a simple, large stone, with carvings depicting the towers and other relevant images emerging from its surface. This would stand close by a path near where the, by where the pit head and those remarkable keep towers could once be seen. Next to the stone will be two benches, again carved with coal mine related bas relief. There will be information boards by the stone and in other parts of the park with text, pictures, and links to a dedicated Cotgrave Colliery website. When the group initially started planning for a commemoration of the colliery, they ran a survey throughout the town. The strength of feeling that the pit should not be forgotten was overwhelming. Suggestions were diverse, 
but all who responded felt the colliery had been such an important driving force, the very heart and soul of the town, that to allow its memory and that of the people who worked there and relied on it to fade was entirely unacceptable. They were unanimously proud of the pit and its record and wanted the industrial heritage that it represented to be celebrated. The group agrees with this and that this should be the case, that a Cotgrave colliery celebration is vital.